their powerhouses that we're very familiar with. That ball stays in play just barely. Babcock, a little roll shot. Worked on her beach game. They get a piece of Hannah who pokes it back over. See so Babcock right side, full head of steam. And that means Point Panther. So Penn State again. So if you're Penn State, where do you look right now for a little bit of hope, a little bit of positive momentum? I think they need to pick up the serving game, try to get them in a little bit more trouble so they get out of get hit out. It was a wire-to-wire -wire victory for Pitt in the first. They jumped out big, 6-1 and 12-6 over Kitty Schumacher Crawley's Penn State Lion, Nittany Lions. Penn State team returning it to prominence. Toughest rotation here for Pitt so far. They've got a lot of point production outside. Blocked and covered. Back again. Stafford threw him down. Season. That ball finds the back line. Now a huge part of this national powerhouse. Overhead. Quick one to Babcock is dug. That one into the middle. Did they get a touch? Indeed they did. Bree Kelly with the outside move. Better block that time. Right side. And a lot of the offense now going to Cameron Hannum. And that's Merzik with 10 and two kills. Both hitters certainly capable of going on a tear. Overhead, Babcock. In above the last few matches. Now she gives him a shot here, and that will be good. She, when everything is perfect, seems unstoppable. That's right, she does. That one was three by prep volleyball coming out. I saw her early in the season. You knew right away that was completely wrong. <laughs> nice job, rankings. There's another kill for Taylor Trammell, who continues her excellent. Working well with Izzy Stark, the new freshman setter. That, that ball is well long. And you know, Penn State has a very strong block, so with those missed serves. Set to the right side to Jira Vicious and Penn State pretty excited about number 14. Absolutely. We were watching her earlier and you and I kind of looked at each other like, oh wow, okay. Really like her strong attack coming in. She was flying high on that one. Comes in thumb down off pin enough and able to tool. That ball a little too tight, looking for the touch, not getting it. Vasquez Gomez. Deep breath. They've shunted the crowd a bit as well. Vasquez Gomez flat and too long. And if Penn State knows anything about a crowd, they are a very tough gym to play in themselves. Valdudo continues to serve. Good pass that time. Babcock back row winner. Have you heard about hang time? Do you know what that is? Yes, I remember. All right, we just saw a few. Yeah, something like that. All clear. All right, another opportunity here. Down ball. Babcock handles it. The back row. Stafford this time blocked. Vasquez Gomez stuffed. But Penn State's doing some good work at the net, just not putting him away, but generating the error. The opponent, you see that 154, the opponent hitting percentage. Second in the Big Ten for now. Pitt's been holding the teams to 103. And we'll see who can hit higher as this match moves on. Nine nine set two. It was a sprint for Pitt in set one that established the tone. Penn State recovered late, but there was too much damage. 25-15 was the final. Third tie now of this second set. Well off the net, beautifully done, but blocked again. That is a big block up front. It sure is. And when the pass is out of system, you can tell going to the outside. And Babcock going to give outside hitters a nightmare all year long. Merzig right side back row. That'll be playable. Clicka has to go underhand. Filling the corner. Olivia Babcock. She's heating up. She really is. And not only are. Tough serve again. Penn State off the net. Hannah 
takes an aggressive swing and puts it away. And you know, Hannah got blocked back, not going forward through the ball. I think you get a little bit more power if you come in through it a little bit more for her swing. Megan Hodgeezy, another addition to the staff there for Katie Schumacher Crawley. An expert staff there. She is the Olympian, former national team standout, as well as Penn State legend as an ace serve is issued. First of the second set for Pitt, third overall. Pitt looking to extend. This rotation has just been deadly. Not this time, though. Off the click and out of bounds. Kill from Hannah. You can see Hannah telling her to make a good job. That's what the coaches were saying, too, that she's kind of a hard-to-read player, so giving people trouble at times on the block. Stafford's been giving people trouble all season long. Her number's off in the last couple. Stafford, look at that, four and a half kills per set. 356 is legendary at the outside. She can maintain that all season. That's going to be All-American first team. Beautiful dig that time by Grimes. But another block. Both middles closing and winning. Ryla Jones. It's a year that are kind of like bigger meetings. He actually mentioned another legendary coach, Mike Hebert, did that. He got that idea from him. Mike Hebert was instrumental in getting Dan Fisher here. So that's pretty cool, my old coach. Look this. So I loved that because I do think that you really need to sometimes just not always think about everyone else, which we tend to do, but also how can I take care of me in this moment? What am I going to do on the flip side as well? So a good combo and balance. Yeah, there's some that timeout. Here comes Babcock. She's missed a couple of times now. But generally, Babcock, with that powerful jump serve, fairly consistent. She has been. I saw against Oregon, she had about three, four aces in a row. And again, I think right now in the different areas of the court, 12 aces, give people trouble. 12 aces on eight errors coming in with that jumper. And something that a lot of people don't have in their gym. Stafford this time slowed by the block. Penn State needs to convert. Right side, Juravicious does just that. Airline Juravicious, you might recognize. Coach Schumacher Colley said, we didn't get her the first time, but the second time around, we were happy to get her and been a big impact. Both teams going to their regular serving subs. Dylan Griffin back in. Looking deep line, that might have been out. Right side off the block again. That's the second for Jira Vicious in this set. And again, you're right, that looked a little bit high. Ticket high hands could have been out, but Jira Vicious took care of it. Valdudo. Babcock. Another good touch on the PSU block. And the conversion. Be part of this awesome program. How about that? Just four losses at home over the last few years. That ball popped very high. Free ball coming. Hit offense. Full tilt. All cylinders. And just out of bounds will we see our first challenge. All right, our first challenge of this match comes in set number two. A pivotal moment here. Originally scored 18-16 in favor of Pitt, and the ball ruled out of bounds. Penn State looking for the ball to have been incorrect. I wonder how she is in the mud. Can she sprint in the mud as well as Gail could? No. There's a couple of ways to build a program. There's just one to change. And she's done a nice job. Another tough serve, handled well. Outside, Hannah, no. Did they go back to her? No, this time right side. Looking for the touch, that's kind of that split off. Fairbanks, five aces on the season. Tough one there, down the line, make it six. Six to one in blocks. Opposite corner for this serve. Three up on the block. No cover. Sorry, two up on that. Good job by Pitt, but not enough. Another middle kill. And Penn State continues. Nazareth Academy. 
Middle attack is also working. Free killing. Julian Grimes, who just served, she has 10 aces for Penn State. So again. Kelly, a couple seasons at Florida before joining Pitt. That now ancient history. Right side, Babcock, hands out into the crowd. That set a little bit. She's able to do whatever she wants up there. 5-1 run, and look who, what a rotation for the Panthers. It's going to be a long look in volumetrics at this rotation for all their upcoming opponents. Merzik finally gets killed down the right side. And I think Penn State, they need to get her going a little bit more. On 250. Stafford collects another. Stafford now in double figures. Flood on to close. Like Rick Sutcliffe. Nearly had the ace. The middle will do it. Twenty-five nineteen. 